What's going on YouTube world? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys with another YouTube video and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly how I location hunt for my ATM business. Before I get started in this video I want you guys to do me a favor is go ahead and smash the thumbs up for me because it does help the YouTube algorithm as well as come subscribe if you guys are brand new but as you saw in the title as well as the thumbnail I'm going to be breaking down to you guys exactly sharing with you guys my secrets on how exactly I location hunt for my ATM business and the reason I wanted to come to you guys with this video is just sharing with you that in 2021 there's a lot of lessons and things that I learned in 2020 obviously due to the current pandemic and the pandemic that happened and hit really hard in 2020 I saw a lot of my ATM business actually uh, become obsolete in a sense I lost over 70% of my business just to not finding the right locations I posted a video about five months ago actually on my YouTube kind of breaking down to you guys exactly how I do what I call location hunting and these are some of the new updated steps tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you tonight because a lot of you guys are new in the ATM business or wanting to be involved in the ATM business and are like Austin how the heck do I actually go out there and land ATM locations as you guys already can hear that it's not just gonna be me commentating tonight it's also gonna be Miko James Miko James seriously we got Coda Ray to the rescue so um First of all, I'm just going to share with you guys some high risk and some low risk locations that you can actually look for and be on the hunt. And then I'm going to literally dive into you guys step by step on how I find if it's a good location, what to dictate, some variables, what I look at, what I don't look at, etc. So uh, let's talk about high risk. High risk locations, the downside to high risk locations is they're going to actually be locations that are going to pay almost the most in terms of surcharge monthly profit fees. Now, our high risk location, we're talking about we're talking about bars, we're talking about clubs, we're talking about marketplaces, we're talking about restaurants, we're talking about locations that have a massive amount of people that come to them on a daily or monthly or weekly basis. This Inside of a location, a bar, for example, is going to be the first thing that gets shut down in case of a pandemic or whatever the case is going to be. What I recommend each and every single individual getting into the ATM business or going to move forward in the ATM business is if your long goal is to sell your ATM company, great, amazing, sweet, then you're going to want to have convenience stores. You're going to want to have locations that are going to 100% stay open. The riskier businesses like your bars, your clubs, your marketplaces, you know, restaurants and, and, and locations like that, um, that are going to uh, produce the most amount of revenue. If they do, or if they were to get shut down, then you have your backup locations, obviously barbershops, but barbershops are not great locations to begin with. And in the pandemic, they actually ended up do they did shut down uh, some really low key locations that are actually phenomenal are actually going to be your laundromats laundromats. Uh, because again, they are a, uh, they are a well rounded, uh, business but not only just a well-rounded business they're a business that is uh, almost immediate like that you can't shut down a laundromat business because other people have to do their laundry your laundromat is essentially a essential business so a laundromat is actually not going to be shutting down a dispensary is not going to be getting shut down uh, a, a hospital is not going to be getting shut down a hotel is not going to be getting shut down but i will share with you hotels as you guys saw in my last video the revenue every single month is up and down up and down up and down up and down now now when you decide what kind of atm business you want to build or moving forward okay whether you want to go the riskier side make the most highest passive income or you want to go the safer side in, in, in the locations that are essential and will never shut down which will raise the obviously your revenue won't be as high but it will raise the value of your company because it is essential. It, your company is an essential business. Now that 2020 happened, 
that is something to take a look at because people that are going to come in with 3 million, 2 million, 100 grand, 5 million, 10 million, 100 million dollars inside the ATM business are going to want something that's essential. They're not going to buy your locations like bars or, or, or marketplaces or those locations that absolutely crush it. They're not going to buy them because they realize what happened in 2020 could happen again. And if it did happen again, then they would lose out on all of that revenue on a monthly basis. They don't want that. They want steady. So once you decide if you want to go the riskier side or the safer side, you're going to then want to start location hunting. Here's what I recommend each and every single person do when they are location hunting. There's this beautiful thing called Google Maps. Okay. Google Maps, and I want to walk you guys through this on my computer. You guys aren't going to see my computer, but I'm going to literally type it out and show you guys the psychology behind me showing you guys this. But I go into Google Maps, and for example, let's just see. I let's just say I drove past a location, or I had found a location. Um, let's just let's just call this. Let me think about one of my locations, for example. Let's just call this. Just for the sake of this video, let's let's use Mariah Nails. Mariah Nails is a location that I actually have. This particular location is actually a nail salon. It is not all cash, but it does have a lot of cash users because again, in a nail salon, people need cash tips. They only accept cash tips. So let's just take a look at this. We have Mariah Nails. It's located here in Phoenix. I go over to Google Maps, okay? Google Maps, when I check out a location, let's just say, hey, you know, this location looks really good. I walked in, I checked it out, good energy, good vibe. I stayed around for about two or three minutes. I watched how many people were in there. I watched the customer service, I watched everything. I then went to Google Maps and I typed in Mariah Nails in Spa. It happens to be on Third Street in Phoenix. Here's what I then do, I say, okay, it's got a great location, it's got, okay, this is interesting. It's right around, it's, oh wow, it's the Arizona Shopping Center, okay? Arizona Center. It is literally a shopping mall, okay? Well, one, it crushes the location. A nail salon is not an essential business. Now, however, okay, there are essential businesses around this location, like your Starbucks and other uh, locations that are still going to stay open, regardless of anything that ends up happening. There are a lot of locations around it that are surrounding that are actually uh, very busy. And, and you guys can see it's got a hotel across the street. There's going to be a lot of people that are walking around it uh, every single day. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to use this ATM. Now, what I look at when I see this is I see that one, it's downtown Phoenix. Two, it's got a bunch of other locations by it. Number three, I'm going to look at if other locations actually have an ATM inside of it. If it does have an ATM, no worries. So many people have a fear of saying, hey, Austin, I don't want to put my ATM inside of a location because the ATM or the location next to it has an ATM too. Listen, it does not matter. Somebody is not going to go from one location to the next location to pull out $40 cash or $60 cash or $100 cash and then walk back into the other location unless it's absolutely mandatory. Well, what they're going to do is they're going to go to your ATM inside of that location that they're at because convenience is everything. So understanding that convenience is everything, then you are going to want to put an ATM inside this location. But... What I do love about this when you are location hunting is now that I know Mariah Nails does not have an ATM, it does now because of us, but Mariah Nails does not have an ATM. I then look at the other locations like Bosa Donuts. I look at Flag World Sports. I look at I look at Canyon Cafe. I, I look at the uh, Elite Restoration. I look at the Corner Bakery Cafe. I look at Cold Stone. I look at Gate Stone. I look at the Sushi and Noodle Company. I look at the Nutrition Smoothie and Energy Bar. I look at these different locations to then say, hey, they have a phenomenal location. Some of them may or may not be essential businesses, but now you have a bunch of other, in a sense, leads that you can actually take a look at just from finding one location called Mariah Nails, for example. You know, you can get a idea of where the location is at and you can do this anywhere in any state. Let's just say I got a deli, okay? I, I get a lot of delis in New York. Let's just say I have a deli in New York. Great, what is the address? What is the lead? I have the lead, I have the address. I then call the surrounding locations of this particular deli that then requires me to get more leads, more people interested because especially in New York, there's an ATM on every single corner in every single business and the ATMs get used insane amount of times. This is how I location hunt. 
This is how I find more leads, find more deals, because I reach out to a company and I say, hey, listen, for example, uh, Omni Sushi. Uh, I'm actually looking at placing a free ATM inside of Mariah Nails. We're going to offer them a, a percentage of the surcharge. We're going to handle everything. We're going to install the ATM for free. We're just going to utilize your guys' internet, your guys' Wi-Fi. The ATM is going to be loaded on a weekly or bi-weekly or monthly basis, depending on how busy that it is. And it's never going to run out of cash. Is that something that you're interested in? In a free ATM install. Most locations are going to say absolutely or they're going to want more information. When they want more information, you get them the information. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the secret hack on how I find locations. I will drive down a road and take pictures of different locations when I'm in a different city, when I'm traveling. I'm not just a normal tourist that is just looking around town, enjoying the palm trees, enjoying the weather, enjoying the air, enjoying the vibe. No, 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 no. I run an ATM business. If I like your business, if I like your uh, convenience store, if I like your marketplace, if I like your gas station, if I like your whatever the business is, I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to call. I'm going to ask if you want a free ATM. If there's an ATM currently in there, I'm going to see if you have a contract. If you don't have a contract, then I'm going to see what it is that you want me to do to get my ATM inside your location. And then I'm going to call all of the surrounding businesses because I already like the location in terms of the area. I already like the foot traffic that's happening. And number three, I already found one business that I want to put in there. So why wouldn't you want all of them? Ladies and gentlemen, this is my secret hack on how I literally have built an ATM empire, okay? So make sure and smash the thumbs up button. If you guys have any questions on how to essentially location hunt for ATMs, then make sure and drop in the comment section down below. If you guys wouldn't already, make sure and smash the subscribe button if you guys are brand new. Make sure and head over to Instagram and follow me as well. I'm going to be following back all my YouTube uh, partners. Uh, all you got to do is just comment on one of my YouTube videos. But again, when you're location hunting, I'm just going to leave you with this last and final thing. Make sure you're working smarter rather than actually working harder. Make sure and go out there and create your goals and dreams. Go out there and make your dreams a reality because I truly believe you can do that inside the ATM business. If you guys have any questions at all, I'm going to put my number actually in the description below as well as come shoot me a DM on Instagram. Austin Lewis here saying we'll see you guys in a future YouTube video.